Okay, so firstly, thank you and good evening uh, for attending the first of the uh, IONDO webinars. Um, firstly, uh, you'll notice on the chat function, um, any questions uh, that you wish to ask throughout uh, the session, uh, please feel free to drop them in. Um, alternatively, if you wish to email, uh, the email address is support at iondo.com. Uh, firstly, if I could just ask um, that anyone could hear me, if they could just type yes, um, or that they can confirm they can hear me uh, in the chat box, and from there then we can move on and get started. Excellent, so it would appear that, uh, that a couple of you can hear me. Um, so what we'll do is we'll make a start. What we're going to do in this session is just um, look over the basics of social trading. Um, so what I'll do is guide you through applying for an account, uh, logging into your account, uh, funding the account using the various methods, uh, and then from then we'll, we'll move on to actually physically selecting traders, uh, searching for them, how to search for them, uh, adding traders to your portfolio, and then executing on your live account. Um, at the end, um, any questions that we've got, I'll try and answer as many as possible, um, but any that you've got, um, feel free to email in or call in to one of my colleagues. So, um, we'll start quickly just by going through the account opening process. So, moving on to the iondo.com uh, webpage, um, you'll see down at the bottom here, you've got uh, two options uh, to open an account. This particular session, we're going to focus on social trading. So, if we click open account, that'll then take you to the first section of the sign up page. Uh, so simply follow uh, the process here, uh, just simply enter in the details, so first name, uh, surname, uh, username and email address here. And on the right hand side of the page, you'll see that we've got various different options for actual trading. Um, trading here, the top one would be if you just wanted to uh, trade yourself. So uh, self-directed accounts, so if any of you have got spread betting accounts already, this is probably the type of account you're familiar with. Uh, moving down here, we've got social trading. So this is broken into two different sections. So the section we're going to be focusing on is I want to be a follower. Uh, so this will be where you're actually copying traders, um, following the same trades that they make. Um, for those of you that uh, want to become a top trader, and um, there'll be some other sessions that focus on that, um, you'd be selecting this one here. So, <clears throat> first of all, complete this application section. Uh, select the country. Um, you'll then move on to the next page, which will just ask some personal details, so your name, address, date of birth. Uh, once you've filled those in, click Submit Application. Uh, and from there, what you'll receive uh, to your email address is your login username, which you've pre-selected, uh, along with your password uh, to log into your account. So, moving on to the first section. So, once you've signed up, um, you'll receive your emails. What we're going to do is actually log into the account. So, if we go to the top right hand corner here, you'll see there's a blue button that says login. So, simply hover your mouse over that. And what we've got here is three options. So, we've got Trade Hub Demo, so for any demo account holders, uh, Trade Hub Live, so that would be self directed. Um, accounts where you trade yourself and then we've got social trading so simply select social trading and enter in the username and password that you've been given and from here you'll notice that we've been granted, uh, greeted with the login page. So the first bit what we'll do is we'll look on how to fund your account. So you need to put funds in before we start copying traders. So right here at the top, next to my live account, you've got fund your account. Simply click on that. Uh, you'll then be greeted with a message, this one here, that just confirms that you'll be taken into your Iondo Markets account. Now. The Iondo social platform that we'll go through uh, in a minute is all about managing your portfolio, uh, selecting the different traders um, and changing that around, looking at the ways that you can put different traders, take them out, remove them, add traders, etc. Um, the page that we're going to go on to here is Iondo Market. So this effectively is the, the execution engine 
um, where all the trades are physically executed. Um, this will also be quite an important aspect uh, just in regards to funding the account, so any deposits or withdrawals you want to make. So simply just log in using the same login details that you had earlier. <clears throat> so what we greeted with here is the main screen and you'll see at the top here you've got a variety of different functions. These will all make sense when you're actually trading yourself so we won't go through these at the moment uh, but the most important one that you'll probably need to use at the moment is the funds management section. So simply select funds management and from here um, there's details of the two ways in which you can deposit funds and also the two ways that you can withdraw funds. Um, I'll go through them briefly now. So easiest and quickest way is to fund using a credit or debit card. So simply click on new card and just complete the details here. So a card type, expiry date, the long card number, security code and deposit amount. Simply select deposit funds and from there you'll be taken usually to your online banks page where they'll ask you to type in um, certain character of security password. Once you've gone through that um, the deposits will be on your account instantly. The second way to deposit funds is using a bank transfer. So if you just click here, Bankwire, um, all the details of the different currency accounts we hold um, are all listed there. Uh, moving on to withdrawing funds, simply click withdrawals and then a card. So any of you that have got a card registered, so if you've funded using a credit or debit card, you'll have the details of the card that you've got stored here and from there you'll be able to uh, type in the amount you wish to withdraw and it will just ask you to confirm your withdrawal. Alternatively those that deposited using a bank transfer or bank wire, simply click bank wire here, enter the withdrawal amount, any special instructions and click withdraw funds. So now we've gone through and funded the account, what we'll do is go back to the social trading platform and from here we can then start to look at searching for traders uh, building a portfolio and then executing them on a live account. So, the easiest way to find top traders is simply click find top traders and from here what we've got is effectively the search box. Um, so I'll go through this quickly. Um, we can search for traders using a variety of different time scales. so the figures that are going to be showed across here so profit or loss, maximum drawdown, volatility, number of followers. Uh, you can select the time period from which this is based. So if we look over the last year. And over here, Iondo Markets breaks down the different top traders via different career levels. So I'll run you through quickly what each of them means. Starting with the most basic. So the most basic that we have is Street Trader. So this uh, means that traders have completed at least uh, 15 trades in the last 30 days. Um, they have had uh, a drawdown not larger than 25%. Uh, their maximum performance after the 30 days must be a minimum of 1%. And from there, as long as they complete that, they can move up to the next level. So that would be the advanced trader here. So highlighted here in gold. For them to move on to the next uh, career level, they would need to complete a minimum of 15 trades within 60 days. Um, they'd need to have a drawdown no larger than 25% and their performance over the 60 days or since the start of their career must be a minimum of 2%. Uh, once those parameters have been met, uh, we then move on to the next trading career level, which is professional. So from here it's got to be a minimum of 25 trades completed within 90 days. Um, the maximum drawdown can be no larger than 20% and performance must be at least 4% since the start of the career. So as you can see as we move up the different career levels, um, risk and risk management becomes um, introduced fairly strictly um, as does performance as well. So moving to the fourth level which is risk adjusted. So a minimum of 50 trades completed with 100, within 180 days. Um, the drawdown can be no larger than 15% uh, 
and performance since the start of the career must be a minimum of 6%. Uh, finally, that leads us on to the top level trading career, which is institutional. Uh, so for this, uh, clients must or traders must have completed 150 trades within a year. Uh, the drawdown can be no larger than 15% and the annual performance or the, the performance since inception of the account must be a minimum of 8%. So what we can do using the career levels is search for different traders across different career levels. So say for example I wanted to look at traders which were all except street trade level, I could just deselect that and then simply click search. So what we'd have here is a list of all traders, apart from street traders as we've removed that, that have then displayed all their performance within the last year. So if we look at the profit or loss, we can scroll down, we can see the maximum drawdown, volatility, uh, number of followers, number of trades per month, so what I'll do is just search for it, and we'll just broaden the search horizon here. So what we could see here is we've got traders that are all traders except the street trader and advanced trader. So we've got professional, risk adjusted and institutional traders. And here I've got their performance since inception, so since they've had their trading accounts, and a variety of different figures here. So what I can do is search for these traders. Um, what I can do then is have a look at that individual trader's statistics. So if I were to click on the name here, and then what we can do is show an equity graph um, and a whole host of different performance measurements here. So starting here, we've got the performance since registration. We've got the maximum drawdown. If you want to find out any more about how these are calculated, um, simply click on more and that will give you a good description um, and some live examples. Uh, the volatility, uh, the number of trades, percentage of win trades and percentage of win months. If we then scroll down, we've got the equity curve of the client's account in percentage. And here we've then got it compared to the DAX or the Germany 30. Uh, currently any open trades that the trader's got, so we can see he's got four trades open at the moment and the current profit or loss, uh, the time he's had them open for and the risk per trade. Uh, and then from here we've got uh, percentage performance broken down by individual month since he's actually started. Uh, looking down here we can then look at the distribution of monthly, monthly performance, uh, the type of assets that he's traded. So. Based on this, we can see that the majority of the trades for this client tend to be on the Germany 30, um, with a smaller amount being on Euro Dollar, GBP USD, and a few others. And then we've also got some performance matrix in regards to profit or loss and percentage, and then some others calculated down here. So, what I could do is select to follow this client. So, if I wanted to follow this trader, I'd simply click follow and he has been added to my portfolio. So if we go to Portfolio Configurator, what I'll do is just remove some of these. So I'll simply click on Botanicus and select follow. So as you can see this trader here has now been added to my portfolio. If I then wanted to search for some other traders to add, I simply go to find top traders again and now I can do another detailed search. So what I'm going to do now is search for traders that are in the risk adjusted so and also the institutional, so the top two tiers. And if we look at this one here, so select this client. We can have a look at this performance since registration.
And then if I wanted to add him to my portfolio, select follow. Again, find some more traders, find top traders. So with the Iondo social trading platform, you can add up to five traders. Obviously you don't have to have five, um, but you can be as flexible as you want. Some people just want might want to follow one to start with, but obviously the more number of traders or the larger amount of traders that you have, that diversifies the portfolio that you've got. So if we just have another search for some more, have a look over this particular one. So performance since registration. Now what I want to do is see how this client's actually performed in the last three months. So what I'll simply do is on this section here, select three months and we'll see that over the last three months he has performed to 4.93%. He's had 100% winning months. Uh, the number of trades that he's completed and 76.39% are winning. So if we scroll down here, we've got some more details of those trades. This client only tends to trade the UK 100 as displayed here, so 100% of his trades have been on that. So if I go up to top and select follow, then we'll see. So what I've done here is created a portfolio just with three traders. So what I can do now is if I want to execute them on my live portfolio, by clicking on these sections here, by the way, what you'll do is see <coughs> how the performance over this particular year to date, if we'd had those traders in my portfolio, how they would have delivered so far. So based on the three traders I've selected, had I had them in since the start of the year, so since January the 1st, uh, my portfolio overall total would be currently standing at a 13% increase. So what I want to do now is select these traders onto my actual live account and let them start executing trades. So to do that, simply select execute on live account. And you can either select to open any of the trades that a trader currently has got, or you could select them from the start. So what I'm gonna do here is just select execute portfolio. And this will just open any trades that client's got in the future. So what we've got now is all of these clients are executing live trades on my account. What we can do is just go back to Portfolio Configurator and we'll see these are the three clients that we've got trading on my account. And what that will do is 24 hours a day, whenever you're, whether your computer's turned off or turned on, it will continue to, mark, to monitor the trades that they place and they'll automatically be replicated onto your account. So you don't need to have your computer on the whole time. Um, you don't need to make sure that they're executing correctly. It will automatically, in proportionately to the account balance that you've got, copy the trades that they're running. One other handy thing is if you want to go up here to my portfolio, you can create a watch list of traders. So say there were 10 traders that you wanted to look at, you could simply just select add to your watch list and that will then add them here. Uh, if you go to my live account here, what you've got are any open trades that are currently running, your current balance, any previously closed trades, and one thing here is your loss protection. Um, quite an important this bit here, the loss protection is effectively a stop loss on your whole account balance. So what that will do is it will close out all open trades if your equity falls to a certain distance. So if we take my current balance here of €1,062.09, if I want to set it so that if my balance were to fall to €750, Euros, it will close out all trades, simply enter 750 here click save and we'll see that my loss protection has been updated here. If, say for example, you want to go and remove any traders from your portfolio, simply go to My Portfolio, uh, My Portfolio Configurator, select the trader that you want to remove and click on the X. We'll then ask you, are you sure you want to remove this trader from your personal portfolio? Select OK. 
and we'll see he's been removed. What I can then do is simply on the search box here, again I can search by percentage and profit, all markets since, since inception or over the last three months. If I see another trader I like, I can simply drag them across, select add trader, and we'll see this trade has now been added. So any future trades that this particular trader makes will now start to be corrected and copied on my uh, on my live account. If for any reason you want to stop all trades currently running, you can either just remove these traders simply by clicking the X, or if you go to my portfolio, my live account, and just select stop execution. And that will just close out all the trades that are currently running on your account. <clears throat> so what we've done is just very briefly touched on how to open an account, make sure that you're selecting the right account type from the application process, uh, how to search and for traders, how to add traders and remove traders, and then how to execute on your live portfolio. Uh, and then we also gone through how to fund the account and how to make a withdrawal from the uh, from your account. So we'll keep it a fairly short session as this is a two-part. So the next session, what we'll do is look into some of the performance matrix of the actual traders, um, looking at how you can adjust the different products that they trade, um, and a host of sort of more technical systems or details that we can use to actually find traders. Um, what I'll do is just a couple of questions, so if you want to type any more I'll just go through a few of them. Um, obviously feel free to email in any more to support at iondo.com uh, and either myself or one of my colleagues will be able to get back to you. Uh, so the first one I've had is uh, do you have to have five traders? Um, so no, you can have um, anywhere from one to five, um, however many you wish to select is completely up to you. Obviously you can always add traders or take traders away. So it allows you to be as flexible as possible. Uh, what is the minimum amount to open an account or trade with? So the minimum amount to open an account and start copying traders would be either 100 pounds or 100 euros. Um, obviously you can increase that, but that's the minimum that you'd be required to start trading. Uh, other ones we've had is do traders trade with their own money? Uh, so if we go back to the search section here, click find top traders. Uh, back here we've got balance, so if we were to remove V and just have the R, this would show traders that are real money traders, so it's also denoted with a gold R next to them. So these traders here are all trading with their own funds, they've got a live trading account and you're mimicking exactly what they're trading throughout the platform. So they're actually got their, their own funds at risk um, when they're trading. Uh, another one I've had is, is there a mobile app? <clears throat> um, so yes, you can uh, log in and check um, your live open trades using the Iondo Markets platform. So that's this one here. So via the App Store, um, we've got an Android and there's also uh, an iPhone app. Uh, what you can do is sign in, uh, download effectively the iPhone application of this and you'll be able to see your cash balance, open profit or loss um, and all your account details. Okay, so we've got one more question that I'll do this evening. Obviously there are a few more so we'll try and get back to you within the next day. Um, the last one we've had is, can I have more than one account? Um, yes, that's a good question. Um, you can have as many accounts as you wish, so some people might want to have, um, say, traders that are an account of traders that are the first two levels, so perhaps people that haven't quite proven themselves um, but seem to have high profits. Or another could be um, you want to have people that trade different asset classes, so maybe one that the uh, majority of traders tend to trade currencies, another it tends to be equities or indices. So all you'd simply do is back to the open account section and simply click open account again, down to social trading, fill in the application as 
per usual, um, but th this time just ensure that you use a different registered email address. Um, so from there, we'll be able to ensure that trade notifications from one account don't get confused with your other. So we'll leave it there for this evening. Um, thanks very much for your attendance and uh, look forward to uh, hearing from you with any queries or questions you've got in the future. Thanks very much. Bye.